Yo, everyone, guess what I got this morning? Oh, full self-driving on the Cybertruck. We're at a stop sign. We're turning. It is amazing. No hands. Check it. So it's supervised, which means I have this camera right here. Looks at my eye holes and uh, it's pretty fantastic. Of course, I'm pretty, pretty stout on uh, trying to maintain and overlook everything to make sure that we're good. Um, you know, it still makes you apply lightweight movement to the wheel. Um, it is pretty slow, which is okay, because that's what it should be doing. So, literally just got it this morning, had it plugged in. There's a car behind me. Normally, the speed limit here is 30. It only wants to do 25, so I'm helping it along by pressing the gas, AKA the accelerator. Here's the deal. There's road construction here. Not a huge fan of this turn anyway. So let's see, uh, let's see what happens. We do have a car coming. I'm gonna actually take over right now because I don't trust. I don't trust it right now. So, all right, now I'm gonna resume on the main road here. Speed limit is set to 60. It automatically does that. <clears throat> because of the road construction, it is only going 48, as you can see. It's pretty conservative when there's road construction and on these back roads. Um, <clears throat> 917 is one of the most dangerous roads here in Johnson County in Texas. And um, again, what I like about the autopilot, it, it is very conservative. It has become more conservative as time has gone on. We've had it since 2019 on the Model X. Um, absolutely love it. It's great for road trips. I don't typically like using it when it's door to door, even though you can, it's, it's just not there yet, right? I think it can be but you still have to supervise. And that's the difference. People think that these cars, these influencers on YouTube showing off that I'm sitting in the back seat and the car's driving by itself. It's just not a hundred percent accurate. You can make the car do that, but man, you could do that in an airplane. You could fall asleep if you wanted to in an airplane while on autopilot, not recommended at all. But anyway, so here we are. Ah, see, look at that. Camera got put in front of my face, and you know what happened? It yelled at me. And that's good. I like it. Um, I want that. Okay, it's getting ready to turn on the freeway here. All by itself. Turning, blinker turned on. And it is going. All by its onesie. I love it. Okay, it's asking for some force being applied to the vehicle. You can see here we'll be entering on the freeway. Blinker comes on. Exit onto the freeway. Making sure nobody is on my left. Vehicles over here on the right. Phone call coming. Shut that off. Okay, speed limit is 70, and so it automatically sets it to 70, and is very conservative at 67, even though there are no cars in front. So I'm going to increase the speed, which it's not changing. And that's the new update. I'm not really a huge fan of it. It's been that way in the Model X. Uh, I am not certain why it doesn't even reach the speed limit. Uh, it used to, it does not do that any longer. And it's a little, a little frustrating. Um, I just want to hit the speed limit. Let's just hit the speed limit. So if you guys know how to change that, let me know. Ah, look at that. It said detect device in hand. So here we are. It actually did go ahead and go up to 75 miles an hour. That is the speed limit that I have it set to. I did change to the fast lane. So I don't know if that makes a difference or not but it did actually meet 
the speed in which I had selected. I'm gonna go ahead and turn. And I took over control because, of course, that car is wanting to speed up and blah, blah, blah. So, gotta love freeway driving. Oh, look at the gray hair! You know, every now and then I pull these to make them disappear, but it doesn't, it doesn't matter. They come back, they come back.